On the front panel, you'll find the classic metal switch lever on the left, with a status indicator light that turns red when powered on, and blue when connected via Bluetooth. On the right side, there's a three-knob design for treble, bass, and volume adjustments. This time, we upgraded the high and low bass adjustment knobs, using a potentiometer with midpoint positioning. Simply turn it to the 12 o'clock position, and the gain of the treble and bass will be zero, allowing for the original tone to be output, satisfying the pursuit of music quality by audio files. Next, let me introduce the input and output interfaces of the BT-20A Pro. The BT-20A Pro has two input modes, Bluetooth Wireless and RCA Wired. With Bluetooth 5, it can transmit up to 15 meters and maintain a stable and reliable connection. We have optimized the Bluetooth connection logic on it. If your device, such as a mobile phone, has been connected once, the BT-20A Pro will memorize it, which means the connection will be rebuilt when your mobile phone is nearby without repairing. To connect a new device or disconnect Bluetooth, simply press and hold the volume knob for 5 seconds to clear the connection. Regarding output, the BT-20A Pro supports two-channel stereo passive output. The binding posts accommodate two wiring methods, banana plug and bare wire. Additionally, we've included a pre-out port on the BT-20A Pro allowing you to connect an active subwoofer to create a 2.1-channel system. What's more, the BT-20A Pro supports 24 to 48 volts power input. We've included a 32 volts 5 amps power supply, which meets 98% of usage scenarios. We also provide a 48 volts 5 amps power supply for your purchase if you need further power. After introducing the external structure and input and output interfaces, let's take a look at the inside of the BT-20A Pro. As an upgraded model of BT-20A, we have carried out a comprehensive upgrade on the internal parts of BT-20A Pro. The first thing to bear the brunt is to upgrade the amp chip to TPA3255, which is a high-end Class D power amplifier chip from Texas Instruments, which can handle a maximum output power of 600 watts. Not only is the power higher, but the sound quality is also significantly improved compared to the old chip, and the noise floor is smaller and the distortion is lower. In addition to the upgrade of the amp chip, the BT-20A Pro integrates four high-performance Texas Instruments NE5532 op amps, providing an additional layer of guarantee for high-fidelity sound output. What deserves special attention is that the BT-20A Pro is the first amplifier that supports the replacement of op amps. You can buy compatible op amps and replace the socket ones yourself according to your preference. The replacement method is also very simple. I will show you the detailed steps later. What's more, BT-20A Pro is also unambiguous in terms of components such as capacitors, inductors, and relays. High-quality capacitors make the current more stable. The Sumida Professional Audio Inductors have lower impedance and support larger currents. Omron relays have the advantages of long life and high reliability. We also specially designed an energy-saving circuit for the BT-20A Pro. The power switch of most power amplifiers is actually just a mute switch. Even if it is off, the machine is still working in standby mode and consumes power. On the BT-20A Pro, as long as you turn it off, the machine will enter a true shutdown state and achieve zero power consumption. One more thing, we've upgraded the BT-20A Pro's volume control to a taper a type which is loved by audiophiles. It's a logarithmic control rather than a linear one. With the support of the above high-quality components, BT-20A Pro can maintain very high stability even under high-power working conditions, and will not automatically shut down due to overheating or overload. Now that we've gone over the internal and external structure, Let's take a look at the BT-20A Pro's parameter list. This amplifier boasts a maximum output power of 600 watts and a signal-to-noise ratio of up to 108 decibels. The signal-to-noise and distortion ratio that can reach as high as 84 decibels. Noise floor value is a mere 258 microvolts. It can support passive speakers with 2 to 8 ohms impedance, and the frequency response range is 20 Hz to 20 kHz. Next, I'll demonstrate how to use the BT-20A Pro with different connection methods.
To begin, I'll demonstrate the Bluetooth connection mode. Firstly, install the antenna into the interface at the back of the BT20A Pro. Secondly, activate the Bluetooth on your device and switch on the power for the BT20A Pro. Allow a few seconds to pass, and you will see BT20A Pro listed in the Bluetooth devices. Click on it, then wait for a second for the connection to be built. Finally, open your music player on your device and begin listening to your favorite songs. BT20A Pro comes equipped with a Bluetooth connection memory function, so you'll only need to pair your devices once. The device will automatically reconnect when turned on the next time. In the event that you need to connect a new device or someone else has accidentally connected to your BT20A Pro, press and hold the volume knob for 5 seconds to clear the connection. After that, you can repair the device. In terms of wired input, BT20A Pro supports a set of RCA inputs. You can connect it to the audio source device through RCA or 3.5 to RCA cables, and then connect the passive speakers to BT20A Pro. Finally, turn on the power and start playing music. When we designed and developed BT20A Pro, we paid great attention to improving its ease of use. Therefore, in the two modes of Bluetooth and wired input, we set Bluetooth as the priority one. That is to say, when both the Bluetooth and RCA cables are connected, the wired input circuit will be automatically cut off, and only the incoming signal from the Bluetooth device will be received. When you don't need to use Bluetooth, you only need to turn off the Bluetooth on your mobile phone or other devices, or press and hold the volume knob for 5 seconds to disconnect. After that, the machine will automatically switch to the wired input mode. Next, I will introduce the usage of the pre-out. In order to obtain stronger bass, I connect an active subwoofer to the pre-out interface of BT20A Pro through a 3.5mm auxiliary cable, then a 2.1 channel system is built. Let's see how the bass is like. Isn't it very shocking? In addition to connecting an active subwoofer to the pre-out, you can also connect a second power amplifier to it to drive more passive speakers. One of the standout features of the BT20A Pro is the ability for audiophiles to customize their experience by rolling the op amp chips. In the next segment, I'll walk you through the process of replacing the socketed op amp chips in the BT20A Pro. First of all, prepare these two tools, a small 2mm hexagon socket screw wrench and a chip remover, or tweezers. Then, remove the Bluetooth antenna and use the hexagonal wrench to remove the three screws on the rear panel, and then pull out the motherboard from the front panel. You can easily see the two NE5532 op amps near the front panel. The two chips are socket type, just use the chip remover or tweezers to pry them out. Next. Put install the new op amp chips into the socket. Here is a reminder that the op amp chips should be installed in the correct direction, so it is necessary to pay special attention to the dot on the chip cover when installing. Please refer to this picture for details. After we have installed the two new op amp chips firmly, we can first connect the power supply and speaker wires to test whether the sound is normal. After everything is okay, install the rear panel back. At this point, the whole process of replacing the op amp chips is completed, isn't it very simple? BT20A Pro supports a variety of common 8-pin op amps, such as LME49720HA, MUSES02, OPA2604AP, OPA2134PA, etc.